Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A mass capital M is broken into two parts of masses M1 and M2. How are M1 and M2 related? So that force of gravitational attraction between the two parts is maximum. Now what says the question? Here we have given a body which having the mass is capital M and is splitting in two parts. Let us consider first part which having the mass is small m and another part which having the mass is capital M minus small m and the distance between the both the bodies that is consider R. Then force of attraction F equal to become G capital small m capital M minus small m upon R square. Okay, that is the first condition. But here we have given the what is the relation of the both the masses when the force of attraction become maximum. So therefore we have applying the mathematical concept maxima and minima. So what says the maxima? Df upon dm. Whenever we have to differentiate with respect of small m then equal to 0 then we will get the condition. So here basic that is the key point of this question. So differentiate. So let us first we have to simplify g multiply by m capital M small m minus m square upon r square and then differentiate with respect of m okay so df by dm here is capital g r square constant value so therefore it is taken out from the differentiation and d by dm capital m into small m m square so df upon dm is equal to g r square what is the differentiation? Capital M into small m that is m and here minus m square that is 2m and is equal to 0 condition of maxima. So here capital M minus 2m is equal to 0 then m equal to 2m. So small m equal to capital M by 2 that is the relation. So therefore this part is m by 2 so remaining part is also m by 2 means m1 equal to m2 equal to m by 2. In that condition the force of gravitational force is maximum. I hope so you understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely when you will become success full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.